is all good. Yeah. Mark, kick us off. So it's your uh, first period in Scottish football. How have you enjoyed the experience and how different is the, the top level in Scotland from what you've been playing in England? Yeah, no, I've really enjoyed myself so far. Um, obviously, been involved in three games and we've won three, so um, I'd say, yeah, it's been a pretty good start. Um, some good building blocks as well for me personally in terms of fitness and stuff. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. In terms of the, the manager in your first game, gave you a, a very free role. Have the, your colleagues around you, have you, have you had much of a discussion about who goes where or do you leave that to the bus? Yeah, I think, I think with certain things like that, I think, you know, footballers play with footballers, if that makes sense. You know, we understand each other's movements and that's something that's only going to get better with time. Um, you know, the, the manager's obviously got um, a style that he wants to play and implement and, you know, there's players around that all understand their roles within that. So, yeah, I think, I think it, will, it will only get better. Hundred um, percent. You know, I'll, I'll start to make movements that you know other players want me to make as well. It's not all about me. Um, and obviously, you know, I'll, I'll feed off the energy from the other boys and and you know where they want it and what their qualities are. So, I think in terms of a start, I think I'm pretty pretty happy with how it started. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking to kick on now and like I say, build on these relationships that I've started on. Um, I don't know if it surprised me too much because I was obviously I was told about it but I'd say obviously the teams come into Ibrox you know I think um, I think you can see you can stop the, the game at multiple points the other day even against Ross County where you know there's 11 players pretty much on the edge of their box um, which makes it difficult but that's the challenge we have to accept and you know it's uh, at a club like Rangers we need to accept that and we need to you know find a way to win the games which we have done. I think, to be honest, it has its pros and its cons because you know you can argue when when a team um, doesn't sit off like the Hearts game, you know they probably regretted not sitting off. Um, and then you know obviously we look at the Ross County game, which was difficult at times because they sat off. It it can be difficult. I think as a creative player, you've got to find a way to adapt within the game. Um, and ultimately, it's your responsibility to try and unlock a door. So. Yeah, massive. I think every every um, every competition we're involved in is is equally as important. Um, but certainly, the message I've I've received, um, you know, this is obviously going to be a tough game at the weekend. Um, you know, it's it's the same whatever league you play in. You know, a team that is in a lower division that comes up to have a game, it's um, it's a game of their lives almost. That's it's they'll give absolutely everything for it. So we've got to be ready for that. And um, listen, we've got full focus on the game at the weekend. I think that's the one thing that I really, I really haven't questioned since I've been here is the drive. I think it's it's really quite apparent just being in and around the changing room, um, even in training. To be honest, the the winning mentality is is there, um, which is brilliant because then you don't have to talk and try and get out of each other. It's already there. Um, I think obviously from some of the senior boys that are here, it's almost embedded in them. So I think they're just spreading that around, and I think it's actually becoming, you know, a bit of a um, a bit of a lesson for everyone really that you know this is this is how it is here. Um, I mean, I've spoke to the people I care about, um, you know, in, in terms of people that, you know, are going to have opinions on what I'm doing here and, and bits and pieces like that, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, the challenge is what it is in front of me and, and that's all I'm looking forward to now. I don't know if it's big enough. I think it's what I expected, to be honest. I think, you know, I've, you guys are all aware. I didn't, I didn't come, you know, the day after the manager spoke to me. We, we had a period where, where we worked things out and we spoke about things and there was great detail behind what we spoke about. I feel like I had a pretty good understanding of what it was I was signing up to when I decided to sign on the line. So um, it's, def it's, definitely, it's definitely good. It's definitely good for me, I believe, and I think I'm, I'm definitely glad I, I've come. Yeah, no, I did. I did. They were um, they were particularly excited when 
when they heard about the possibility of me coming here. Um, they were, it was either, well, it was either they wanted me out of the changing room or they were happy to have me here. I don't know which one it was, but, um, but yeah, no, all jokes aside, you know, they're, they're great guys. And um, I think I realised how, how big Rangers were when, or I realised how much they loved Rangers when I was linked to come here, <laughs> put it that way. Um, the advice would just be from, from, a, from both of them really was just go and be you. Um, they'll fall in love with you. They'll love you if you give 100% and, and you play the way that you play when you're at your happiest. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much the message from everyone that I've spoken to. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm kind of like a week ahead of him. So I'm, I'm kind of watching him, you know, sort of wander around like I did probably. So, yeah, I've took him under a little bit. But um, honestly, the lads here are fantastic. It's been, it's been um, really easy to settle in and I'm sure he'd say the same. Yeah, um, again, you know, like I touched on earlier, it's become quite easy. I think, you know, players of this calibre in this team, you know, understand other footballers. And I think, you know, listen, it's it's not going to be something that clicks in the next week or so. It's going to take a little bit of time, as I'm sure it does for, for any players, really. But I think in terms of general understanding, I think... Um, I think it's really get get into a good place, um, and I think it's a sort of relationship that will only improve. George, you mentioned a lot in the previous press conference about the frustrations at Norwich. How much has the the joy returning to your game been important for you over the last three games or so? Yeah, I think it's been massive. Um, I've I've really enjoyed myself since I've come here. Um, I've enjoyed everything really. I've enjoyed the the whole sort of experience of just being in and around the training ground and you know, having a, a manager with fresh ideas and, you know, have it, it sort of almost enjoying the, the journey of, you know, integrating with the teammates and stuff like that. It's It's been a real good sort of um, freshen up that I definitely needed. You mentioned Germany there, so I think it was a couple of your family members where your first game said you're jumping up from Norwich and posting a photo on Twitter of Uh, no, unfortunately, it is quite a long way from Norwich. So, um, so yeah, I don't think they'll be doing it every week. But no, to be fair, my my brother and my dad and my two best mates came up for the game last weekend, and um, you know, it was it was really nice for them to see it again. You know, it took them by surprise. I think a little bit how big um, the club is and how big the stadium is and the history. I think it's not something that you can really be told about. I, th I think it's something you have to feel. Um, and yeah, no, they were they didn't really want to leave. To be fair. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks. Do the dailies outside? Yeah.